We are joined now by one of the greatest R&B singers of all time, six-time Grammy winner, Toni Braxton. She's just written a beautiful memoir about her incredible career, her personal life full of triumph, hope, and healing. The book is entitled, of course it is, Unbreak My Heart. <laughs> I can hear the tune right now. Tony Braxton, Hello, good great to see you, you again. Too, you too. Been a while, been a while. Oh, yeah. You go there in this book. You go all I the do. way back to your childhood. And some yeah. people don't know about the strict religious upbringing oh, that yeah. you had and how that really influenced you, especially your early years. It did. You know, I, I, I consider myself a spiritual person. I'm a PK, a preacher's kid. But growing up for me was very difficult, challenging, I should say. It was. I was told I would never be able to be an R&B singer because singing secular music is a sin. Mm. So me here today, it's, you know, I wanted it so bad. So but I, I, I appreciate how you embraced your childhood. You're not, you're oh, not, yeah. you're oh, not yeah. stiff arming it and, and saying anything negative about it. You're, that's just how you grew exactly. up. Exactly. Yeah. And with all those <laughs> sisters, <laughs> and you, you were harmonizing yes. before you were talking? Before we were talking. I'm the oldest, though, so... Mm. You know, I was the experimental child, the oldest child. But my parents were great parents. But singing in church was the pulpit, was the con was my stage, the congregation was my audience. So I mean, what mm. kind of training? That's the best training in the world. And everyone thought, and your family included, that as a group, you all would sign that first record deal. Yeah. But it was just you, and you had to deal with the guilt all my life. The guilt. Um, I, mean, I think my parents just had a dream that all of us would make it simultaneously at the same time. But when Ellie and Babyface just wanted me, my parents were really upset about it. I think they just had dreams for their family. So it, it, it put a little bar between our family. And how did you work through it? Because, you know, you know, we see you now with the Braxton right. family values. I am working through it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, the book's therapeutic for me. I talk about a lot of things. I talk about my family on me leaving the group. I talk about... You know, my abortion, which I'm embarrassed to talk about. My, I found out my son had autism. I thought it was because I had the abortion. I felt terrible about myself, and I blamed myself. And I, it's a lot of things I'm revealing in the book. And you thought yeah. you, you found it to be cathartic, therapeutic. Yeah, it just really helped you. But I remember when my, they told me my son was autistic, I, I thought, okay, you had an abortion, and this is God's way of punishing wow. you. So that also goes in, involved with when you're raised to be a PK or preacher's kid and mm -hmm. raised very religious, those things. And you, you, you talk about your son a lot, and he's doing very yes, well. Doing very blessed, and you've very been lucky. very active yes. with autism and, and helping parents and helping families. How yeah. so? Um, I, for me, when I found out someone paid it for it and they helped me, they helped me get him on the right track, got him into his ABA and his therapies. And so f for me, I use my fame, I should say, to help others and pay it for it on the other side. And you've yeah. had your own health issues too, which oh, you write yeah. about lupus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Today's a good day though. Uh, is a good day? Today's a good day. Lupus LA came to my rescue and helped me have great doctors. When I found out I had lupus, they told me I would never be able to perform again. And I'm a testimony because I'm here talking to you today. And people need yeah. to see that. And it's Absolutely. a very, a very important month for lupus and yes. the, the awareness of, of that. How about some new music? I know you've been Man working with Babyface. Babyface. Yeah. Yes, I love him. He's great. Um, we have the, the second single coming out soon, so we'll be back to mm -hmm. perform. Great. Um, and I just love performing, and I don't know what I was thinking when I was going to retire, what was going through my head. So thank God for friends and family that came to my rescue. And talking about friends and family, we see you. It's been <laughs> renewed for a fourth season, your show with your family. Yeah. <laughs> and how is it working all together now, and where are you now as a family? Yeah, I love my sisters. I love my family, but I have to be honest, yes. doing a reality show, Show can be tough because the, really the, it is so <laughs> tough. I know. You hear that it causes rifts occasionally. Yeah. That is true, and I don't like that we fight. We're starting to fight a lot, but this season is getting better. We're going through intense therapy on the show, and mm -hmm. I mean, when we get together, we always have fun. But we're hoping to get it back to where it used to be. And what's the number one life lesson you want people when they read your book to get? I think it's okay to fall down, but you got to remember that it's okay to get back up too. And uh, it's, it's wonderful when you have people to help you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. As a family. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, Tony. Of course. I'm glad that pleasure. you're having a great day. Yeah. You look, stick around for some great music. <laughs> thank you. Also, Tony's book, Unbreak My Heart, one of my favorite songs, <laughs> is in stores right now. <laughs>